This is a Compound Turbo AU Falcon. We built this thing a couple of months ago to go have fun with the Keep It Reet boys, and boy oh boy did we have fun. We Exploded the radiator hose on this thing, and it was a freaking good time. Also, most recently, Grant and Jimmy were here at the shop, and I'm surprised this thing still runs because they absolutely hammered the crap out of this thing. <laughs> So today I thought we'd take this thing down to the dyno and see how much power this compound turbo 4 litre AU Falcon motor actually makes. So I've got a fuel pump and some fuel injectors in the car that we're going to throw in on the dyno and we also have the J3 chip in the ECU. It's going to be super interesting because the J3 chip isn't live tunable so you've got to pull the chip out, plug it into the computer, make your adjustments, then put the chip back into the ECU, then run it up on the dyno. So it's a little bit of a uh, mess around but nonetheless I've kind of got high hopes for this thing in terms of power just because it's 4 litres. It's got two turbo on it, so you'd assume it's gonna make some kind of power. The only things that are gonna hold us back, of course, is the automatic transmission, which I'm kind of iffy about. Enough talking, let's get this beast loaded up on the trailer and let's go to the dyno. <laughs> This thing's about to get a freaking beating. This thing's such a nugget. Literally haven't touched the interior since we got it. It's so stanky. <laughs> Good thing I put fuel in it before we came to the diner. Whoops. <laughs> thing's just smashing against the ground. Cut springs. Dock shop, ready to make some maybe power. Maybe smash. <laughs> <laughs> so we have some 650cc injectors to go in this car. We'll leave the stock fuel pump in for now. We'll see how it goes. I'm sure you guys are as interested as I am to see. What like what power is this mate? Look at our O2 sensor set up. <laughs> boy, 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 boy. All right, so first things first, we're just gonna run it up as it is stock. Yeah, just see what it's doing. Oh, listen to it. After it made 90 kilowatts on the first run, didn't even hit boost, it uh, leaned out. So we decided to pull the fuel pump out, which was right here in this hole, and it doesn't look very good at all. In fact, it looks terrible, but that's because it's an old, stanky AU Falcon. But look at this. So bad. So we have a TI Automotive big boy fuel pump to go in it, which is sick. So I'm gonna swap those over, throw it back in, put our injectors back in it, and then we're gonna have a freaking good time, I reckon. time it was a fuel pump. Yeah. Wow that runs a whole lot different eh? All right now we're getting somewhere. That's stock injectors, no tune yet, so. So as you saw, the whole time, like, it was running terribly. The fuel pump was actually no good. So we'll put that new fuel pump in and the thing runs like a dream. I'm actually mind blown. So now what we're going to do is swap out the injectors for our bigger injectors and actually start tuning using the J3 chip. We're not gonna take it too far. We're just gonna get the new bigger injectors in, get it to the point where it's obviously not leaning out, got good fueling. There's definitely gains to be had though. So let's freaking get this thing pumping. are in and 
although that was a time lapse for you guys that took like 10 seconds, it sucked to do in real life. Uh, it was a bit rough, but we got there in the end. Everything is back together. Dr. Drift is working his magic on the laptop with the Tuner Pro software. It is far beyond my capabilities in terms of whatever he's doing on that thing, the wizardry, but we are trying to get this thing running with the bigger injectors. At the moment, it is pumping a lot of fuel into the car but luckily jesse from keep it reach jesse hooked us up with a base map that should configure this for the four bar map sensor that we have in we think so we're just trying to make it all work so doc's done his thing apparently it should start now We can't really push it much more than that because the tuning software is very basic, although it does allow for you to tune it to have a turbo on it. So that's pretty darn cool. Shout out TI Performance for the J3 chip. It's rad, especially if you're just looking for the budget option for your stock ECU. Absolutely sick, 240 horsepower. The Bebo makes more power than it, so good. Freaking stoked with that. This thing actually made boost and does proper things, which is mind blowing to me. Shout out to Doc, putting in the hard work, getting shit done. Cheers. Same, same. The rings, eh, they're a little bit suspect. I think the, the motor's probably a little bit tired. How many Ks has it got on, like 250,000? Yeah, yeah, thanks to Jimmy Oaks for all that limiter with the uh, lean fuel pump. Yeah, that thanks. probably did nothing. <laughs> Shout out, yeah, literally that fuel pump was stuffed, so yeah. yeah. But luckily the Intec lives to see another day. So now of course we have to do a wee pull in it. I can do a, mean we can't do a workshop skid. We can do a workshop skid, for sure. Well, there you have it. We tuned the AU Falcon and it did kind of some things, but also I have big suspicions that the ring lands and the motor are gone. Let's be real. I'm not surprised one single bit. We smashed the hell out of this car. It still runs, it still drives, but it has a lot of blow-by. I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit of sad news that you probably don't wanna hear, or some of you don't want to. The AU Falcon is not gonna stay on the channel anymore. I have had enough of it. It's been fun while it lasted. Hey, so wrong, it so belongs on the channel. You love it. Look, love is a stretch, okay? <laughs> I, coming up with a word, that, I was gonna say admire, but that's completely incorrect. Wrong, you accept it. Look how much room it takes up in my shop as well. And it's just look, I have ideas for other cars. The real drive Evo is kind of, well, somewhat finished. We've still got a couple of things I want to do to it. I don't want it here in the shop, so we're gonna put it up for sale. 180 kilowatts is what it made, 240 or whatever horsepower. You've, you've done your time. It's going to be sold. And that is a wrap on this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks Bailey for randomly turning up at the end of the video. <laughs> Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you feel like you want to subscribe. I've had enough for tonight. I'm going home and eating food. You! 180 kilowatt. Are you Falcon? It is what it is. Bye. Peace.